So other than disconnecting the battery, which can take time, if you need to shut the system down to work on it, you need to do anything else, you want to have a disconnect. It's a very simple on or off disconnect. So now I can do the same thing. If I turn this, it's going to disconnect and you can see my battery monitor went to zero. Everything essentially went back to sleep. So this is in line of that first circuit. I can, I can disconnect it here if I want to, but that's... Eh. This is kind of nice because you have a nice large turnable handle. So now they make different kinds for my boat or when you have multiple batteries or multiple paths. There's one from Nylite that actually has multiple inputs. So here's another one and the system on here, you can go all the way down to uh, there's off. There's one, two, one and two. What that's going to do is in off, everything is disconnected. When you go to one, two, it's going to combine two batteries or two sources and send them out the last one. If you go to one, it's only going to send the current from battery number one or source number one. If you go to two, it'll send it from source number two. So this is a great, super economical, super compact battery disconnect. And it's one of the most popular ones on Amazon. You can see the difference here. This one has multiple inputs. This one is very simple. It only has two. This again is their multiple version. So you can see here, I have one lug for out and I have two lugs for in. And what's interesting is these pull up. So when you want to run your wires carefully through a side, you want the rest of it to stay in close. So maybe you're running your wires off of the two sides here. You can pull the two side pieces off, run your wires top and bottom, and then you can put the cover back on on the back, especially if you're on an aluminum boat, so you don't have those terminals hitting the back. And then you screw this right to the wall or to where you're going. So that's really cool capability. This is from Nylite, but that's one of the first things I wanted to put in here was a system for being able to disconnect the power to the rest of the system.